Sigma. You'll find the most unusual, extraordinary, intelligent, and attractive women with this rare label. If you are genuinely a Sigma female, then you know what I am talking about. People will be intrigued by your uniqueness, whether it is how you walk into a room or give them such intense eye contact that they can't look away. People will say, I feel like I have known you my whole life. Others will wonder if you are a celebrity or born into royalty. Your aura and aura field is so strong, it becomes hard for people to not be drawn in. You can attract the most unlikely of people to you. I don't believe in soulmates or loved ones, but I do think that there are people out there who have a perfect energy match, and that is where you will find yourself with Sigma type of women, least likely types, yet the most compatible. Sigma is the rarest type among all types in the world. In fact, it's estimated that only one-tenth people have Sigma as their dominant or auxiliary. If you are a Sigma, then you will know what I am talking about. If you don't, you will learn something about yourself. And if you do, then take this as a compliment, very few know what it's like to be the rarest type on earth. You are a Sigma woman if the following statements describe you. 1. You are an independent thinker. Your opinions are unique and not necessarily widely shared by others. You dare to speak up and say what you think. You are a strong individual, not swayed by trends or fads, you do what seems right to you and don't care if others disagree. You have your own sense of style and taste, for better or worse. 2. You are good at understanding people and relationships. Your innate ability to love and care for others is deep and robust. People, especially men, Seek you out because they know that what you say about someone will be accurate with you. You can see others with a clear, discerning eye and aren't fooled by facades or excuses. You can see the natural person and love them anyway, whether they are a saint or a sinner. 3. You are very intuitive about who people are and what makes them tick. You have an innate understanding of human nature and you tend to approach other people in an accepting way that doesn't fit into black and white categories. You see the good in others, even when they have trouble seeing it themselves. Because of this, other people are drawn to you because they sense your acceptance and non-judgmental nature. 4. You live in a world of powerful ideas. You enjoy reading books slash ideas that stretch your mind and make you think. You can teach yourself things quickly and independently, and a strong sense of self-reliance is part of your personality. Your creative mind gives you increased patience for understanding the complexities in life and people. 5. You can be somewhat closed off emotionally. Your approach is to lead with your head rather than your heart. You try to see people as they really are, rather than how you imagine them to be so sometimes you come off as cold or unfeeling. But while this may seem like a criticism, it is actually one of the things that makes you such an exciting person, even if it does make you somewhat intimidating to others. 6. Your independence often makes you feel lonely. You are happiest in life when you have time alone to relax, unwind and recharge your batteries. You are not the type to feed off of people's energies, instead, you find yourself drained by too much socializing or emotional interaction. You are not a touchy slash feely person, usually. You don't feel the need to have someone else around to be happy or complete as a person. 7. You can tend toward perfectionism and general intensity when it comes to achieving your goals. Whether it's work, play, relationships, or anything else, you are the kind of person who gives whatever it is your full attention and effort. You believe that half-hearted simply will not do, and you wouldn't be happy if you settled for less than 100%. When a project or relationship requires all of your time and energy, you tend to go at it with an intensity that makes it seem like the world depends on your success. 8. You are most compatible with a more decisive partner who can lead with their head, 
not their heart. You don't need to be led, you'd much prefer to do the leading. Your natural state is one of independence and strong-mindedness, which is most compatible with someone solid and sure of themselves. Someone who lets their emotions get the better of them will drive you crazy, while a partner with a sharp intellect and a direct communication style will be easy for you to connect with. 9. You tend to get drawn in by anything forbidden or extreme. You gravitate toward the things that are off-limits or wrong in the eyes of society, and you have a rebellious spirit. You enjoy living on the edge because it makes life much more enjoyable. While this is fun for you, it can be challenging for your relationships, especially with more conservative or traditional people. You tend to want to live apart from the crowd and in your own world, so you're not one to follow along with society's boring rules. 10. You are deeply philosophical and introspective. You might be quiet or a private person, but that doesn't mean you don't have profound thoughts running through your mind at all times. You tend to think about the world around you and your place in it, and because of this, you are a deep thinker with a rich inner life. You enjoy sharing these thoughts with an intimate partner who will be able to appreciate them. 11. You tend to measure yourself against others, constantly trying to keep up or outdo them. While getting ahead is undoubtedly important to you, it's not just about the material aspects like money or status. You are more concerned with being successful in life in general and looking back at your accomplishments with pride. It's not so much a competition as it is an urge toward self-improvement and even perfection. A healthy spirit of competition can help you to get ahead in business and relationships. Still, if you become obsessed with proving your worth over everyone else, then you might be committing major self-sabotage. 12. You are very strong-willed and hate being told what to do. As independent as you are, it's not always easy for you to go it alone. You are a team player when the time is right, but you really don't like anyone telling you what to do, especially if they're wrong about it. You see your mistakes as learning opportunities and sometimes make decisions on your own instead of taking advice from others, even if that means making a few rookie mistakes along the way. 13. You are incredibly responsible and trustworthy, but you struggle to open up to others on a deeper level. You tend to keep your feelings inside, even if you're going through a tough time. You don't want others to think that there is anything wrong with you, after all, everything is fine on the outside. You believe that you can go it alone, so you don't always share your emotions or ask for help when you need it. 14. You are a natural caretaker and have lots of compassion to give. It's easy for you to get caught up in taking care of others and being the one who fixes their problems. You are empathetic and want to ease other people's suffering, which is why you're often so comfortable putting someone else's needs above your own. It can be challenging for you to receive care from others, especially if they don't understand what it truly means to care for themselves or know how to love you back. 15. You are an eternal optimist and see the glass half full at all times. While it's great that you're always looking for the silver lining in life, sometimes this can lead to some self-sabotage. You might sabotage relationships with people who don't treat you right, if they are bringing you down, they don't deserve to be in your life. Or by holding on to unrealistic expectations. You're always looking for the next best thing, so make sure you take a step back every now and then. 16. You are highly determined and will work through any obstacle that stands in your way. You're a fighter. You never give up, no matter how bad it might look or how impossible the situation seems. When you put your mind to something, you will actually make it happen, even if that means working 10 times harder than everyone else around you. Sometimes this determination can lead to some significant self-sabotage down the line, especially if you are not open to receiving help from others, and investing in yourself.